Happy birthday, mommy. Thanks. 57. Uh -huh. 2017. Welcome to the Mommy Show. We're playing a game especially designed by me, yours truly, the host of this bit. My name is Britt, and my brand is Britt Chartiz, but another story. Um, I created this game about Mommy's birthday, and the name of the game is you. we went to the Dollar Tree, and everyone could buy two things. Two things to describe mommy or remind them about mommy. And now we're going to formulate these things into a story. So stay tuned. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you are crazy. She needs a nap. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a queen named Sherry. <laughs> Sherry had a long time dream of becoming a movie star. <laughs> she wanted to be in her own movies, oh but God. not like adult movies. She wanted to be in <laughs> films that like are This got real X rated real fast. Blockbuster. <laughs> that not that went out of business. Okay, what Redbox. No, not Redbox films. Like, who's who makes Hollywood. films? Hollywood, like in California. <laughs> so, <laughs> she wanted to be a movie star. So, she worked really, really hard to be a star in her kingdom. She would go and she would put on plays. And then one day, she got discovered and she got her golden ticket to Hollywood. And she wore these glasses, but only one of the things was in there. One of them was like, <laughs> It really was a real team of Hollywood, even though these glasses only have one, one lens. <laughs> one lens. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is priceless. So, yes, a roll was so bomb. She was so lit that her glasses flew off. Okay, so while she was in Hollywood, she won a ticket. She won um, a game show. And on the game show, they gave her a free ride to Vegas. When she got to Vegas, she hit up all the buffets. I'm talking about the good ones, the Mirage Seasons. She hit up the buffets, and but then she got to the last buffet, and she could not pay her bill. And so, her her credit card, she lost her purse. So they thought she didn't have no money, but she was this big star. And so, she was like, I got it, I got it. She happened to be inside of a casino at the buffet. She said, I got it. I won't leave the building. She gave them her identification. She said, I'm going to come back for the money. She decided to go and become a Las Vegas showgirl. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> She became a lost day of showgirl and she was better at it than she was acting. She made ten thousand dollars that night and she paid her bill. She went flew back home and she um dropped the roll and she was a headliner in Vegas for the next fifteen years. Who you a stripper? Ten years in the night? <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> that was great. You made ten grand a night, you were dropping it like it's hot, wasn't it? Okay, cut that one. <laughs> now we're going to keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Brianna. <laughs> she has okay. to burp first. You have to continue the story. Oh. Yes. Okay, you so. You got to continue the story. So that was the story of the adult life. Now we have to go to the prelude. So you know how it'd be, it'd be on BET and be like, you know. Before. Right, before. You're probably wondering how Before was she happening. was a star. Okay. Right, so before she was a star. There was a little girl named Reese. Now, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
you know, Reese had a lot of friends. She lived on a popular block, and, you know, everybody just loved her because she was just so sweet and just so giving. So, one day, Reese's mother and her father took her to a candy unit. And guess what it was full of? Reese's Pieces. <laughs> beyond my front porch. So, Reese just loved these Reese's pieces. And she came back home with all of these big dreams and aspirations of, you know, going back to the candy museum, taking her kids to it one day. So then one day, it was real hot outside. Real, real hot. So, her friend, whatchamacallit, next door, she, um... It's a <laughs> she had this big idea, you know, like, let's have, you know, like this bubble party. So, Reese got these bubbles, and she just started blowing bubbles and blowing bubbles. And then, what happened was, is that she didn't know that this wasn't just an ordinary bubble kid. This was a special bubble kid. This was the Minnie Mouse bubble kid with the bowl with wine. So, she started blowing these bubbles, and she made a bowl so big, she got trapped inside the bubble. And then, it carried her on into her adult life. Who wants to double that? I guess it's you, Bob. <laughs> and you get to end it. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, me and Brianna can lie. <laughs> I don't know okay. what y'all got in that refrigerator to drink, but y'all need to stay out of it. How do you follow that, first of all? Okay. Well, I guess you have to pick whether you're going to go into her adult life or oh, back to the child. Hilarious. So, obviously, the name of the game was to get something that reminded you of mom or you know, she could tell a story about her. So, we're going to fast forward to the adult life. And this was after her Vegas days. She became an evangelist. Ah! This is her first message. Oh. And lean not unto your own understanding. Proverbs 3 and 6. Yes. From a stripper to an evangelist. Go ahead, yes. boy. Yes. I dropped it like it's hot now. I'm dropping it for the Lord. She preached all over the world, blessing and baptizing the nations. Who would have known? Of course, she did not stop. You know, she still had a little side gig every now and then. But that was kept under wraps. And she kept it very professional. Okay. No one else knew about it but her assistant. I'm not going to name her assistant. But, so this reminded me of her also, Glue. Because she is the glue that holds this family together. Aww. Aww. That was so good. Cool. So, oh, so everybody. Okay, now I'll hold it. Now. Okay, now I get to finish off the story. Yes. We're going into, again, her adult life. Now, my story goes from here. We start with this. Now, what this represents is all the beautiful facets of color that she brings into the world. Oh, okay. From the dark days to the bright lights, the beautiful flowers, the green trees, everything. This represents all the color that she brings into the world. Oh, true. All the happiness and the brightness that she brings into our lives. All the different facets of herself that she is and how she brings it all together to make one beautiful picture. Amen. Oh, so yes. <laughs> and to let her know that her beauty is exotic, Aww. exquisite, foreign, yet domestic. <laughs> and this is to say, <laughs> and I got her this beautiful fan because it says to her that it represents to me that on the days when I'm ready to blow up, she keeps me cool. The days when I feel dark, she brings light. 
And whenever I feel sad, there's always a smile on her face to make my face smile. Aww. This is what she means to me. That is yes. so awesome. Is good is it? Everybody. Oh my god. Fifteen fabulous. Fifty forever, baby. <laughs> Mommy, do you have any ending words for this video? Thank you. We love you. The <laughs> story was just amazing. So very funny, but still so very close. I'm really just mush on the inside. Thank each and every one of you for all your kind words and the laughter. I love you guys. You're love welcome. You okay, that's all I can say right now. Okay, in the video. <laughs> Cut.